My name is Jeff Sands. I'm an emergency physician practicing in Kelowna, British Columbia. Over the past four months using the Clary scanner, I've been using it during my emergency shifts. I keep it at my workstation and when I anticipate a patient will require an ultrasound, I take it with me to the bedside and I have it ready to go to help to streamline the process of patient evaluation. The single most useful thing has been bringing my ultrasound scanner to an area where I otherwise would not have the availability of point of care ultrasound. I work up at uh, the local ski resort and uh, it has been amazing to bring it to the ski resort where otherwise we'd have no opportunity to diagnose things like lung collapse, bleeding in the abdomen, and dislocations and fractures of bones. Without the advantage of having point of care ultrasound, you have to rely on your traditional clinical skills auscultation, palpation, to diagnose entities that could potentially be clinically occult. Um, and so this can give us uh, an idea as to uh, whether there are injuries that are clinically occult but could significantly worsen over time. For example, the small, uh, initially small pneumothorax that could grow into a tension pneumothorax as the patient travels to the hospital. Um, another example would be a small splenic laceration, which you may pick up on ultrasound as subtle free interperitoneal fluid. And those patients can become unstable very quickly. And so it would be important to know whether or not there is such an injury before you send them to hospital. And it'll help to decide uh, by what route they go by. This summer, I look forward to the opportunity to use the Claris device as the ski resort for the first season ever brings in mountain bike operations in the summertime. With mountain biking, there's definitely the potential for more severe injuries, thus making this device even more important to identify those who will need to be transported by ambulance or potentially by air ambulance down to our tertiary care center for definitive evaluation.